Hello and welcome to another budget and Lego video. Now we have an update and there is some good and bad news. Uh, I first want to say thank you to everyone for all the support. It was absolutely amazing. I um, messaged and replied to um, every single one I could. I've still got a few more to go. I'm just behind every time I every time I re respond to them. There's just more coming up. So I really, really appreciate your support. Not going anywhere. Not going to let the bastards grind me down. It's just annoying. But anyway, um, and in doing this and checking out and talking, you know, I've got private messages. I've had all sorts. It's been absolutely fantastic. Talking to other YouTubers and stuff and reading the comments and finding out there's this um, Article 13 happening in Europe. It's already gone through. I don't know all the ins and outs, so go and Google it. You'll see yourself. But it's not looking good. Article 13 can basically destroy... <clears throat> everything in Europe even to the point where we might not even have internet and I know that sounds crazy um, but when you google say Ford or BMW or whatever and the logos come up um, Google can get fined for them logos because they don't own the logos if I do a video and you see a Ford sign or you see an, I, I can my video can be taken down just because of that sign and so can everyone else's so our repair videos are just going to be Hello and welcome. Uh, this car doesn't start and then, oh, right, we got it started. See you later. Bye. That's going to be it. We're not going to be able to show anything. We can't show absolutely anything because our videos can be taken down. If you're doing a review for something, you can't be honest because if you be honest and you don't like the product, you say it's wrong, that company can get that taken down. So you, you're not even going to be able to be honest anymore. It could cause an absolute nightmare. It's been put through. It's not been enforced yet, but it's been put through in Europe. So that means essentially everything not just youtube everything no one can even at the minute on youtube you can take a video you can comment over it and see if it's good bad or indifferent or laugh with it joke with whatever again you're not gonna be able to do that they're gonna they're, they're gonna be able to take it down and it's not particularly youtube and google's fault because they're gonna get fined millions if i do something wrong on youtube it's not me that gets fined it's google that gets fined because they own the platform so my channel might be taken down, but it's them that gets fined. And if you imagine how many people are doing YouTube in Europe, and imagine how many fines that is, it could essentially bring Google down. So Google are basically saying, we can't risk this. We're going to have to take everything down to the point where you're not going to be able to search anything online because it can be taken down. Now, again, it has to be enforced, and it depends what you use and what manufacturer is going to um, you know, basically say, okay, you can't use that image, you can't use this, you can't use that. But it's going to make videos very boring because I can't show anything. I can't show the name of the filters. I can't show the name of the car. I have to be really careful what I say. can't show names of scan tools and stuff like that. Well, I can, but if, if the company sees it, they can take it down. And it only takes three videos and you're gone. So I don't know what's going to happen. So yeah, when Britain leave Europe, um, maybe they won't have to fall within this kind of thing. I don't know. It depends what deal they do. But me and Ireland, we're going to be under that law. We're going to be under that law. So I don't know. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't because it's going to be so awkward for anybody. And I'm talking, it's not just YouTube. This, this goes anything, anything. Even to the point where links, you can put a link in the video and even that link can get um, stopped and you can get flagged for copyrights for a link. You use a picture of something. Again, you don't own the rights to that picture. Um, so this, this, this is big. This is really, really big and deep. Don't know what's going to happen. Uh, we just have to wait and see when they start enforcing it. But it's not looking good. Um, it's going to look like, um, I know it sounds stupid, but it could essentially be the internet is gone in Europe because no one's going to take the risk. Google's not going to take the risk. No one's going to take the risk of getting fined millions because you can imagine how many images have Google got on Google Images and they own the rights to none of them. Well, very few of them. And... It'd be billions and billions of pounds of fines. They're not going to risk it. You can't blame them. So that's why they're getting very strict on this type of stuff. So this Article 13 could be the death 
of the internet in Europe, which is pathetic. The people that put this article through are fucking idiots. Um, it makes no sense. It's like your freedom of speech is gone. That's essentially what it is. You can't you can't say anything. If I'm reviewing a product, I'd have to say it's good because if I say it's bad and the company sees it, bang, they'll put a copyright strike in. So you're not going to be able to do any more reviews. Uh, well, not honest reviews. And if you can't do an honest review, I don't want to do it. I don't know what's going to happen. But all I do know is I'm going to still be here. Um, whether I have to, I don't know, do my own kind of website, like my own little kind of YouTube thing where I have to put my videos on my own website. I, d I just don't know. I just don't know how or what's going to happen. Um, but if I do make the website, because if this does go down, and then I have to be really careful because then it's me liable for the fines. And uh, yeah, so that could just be more hot. I just don't know. Look, I really don't know. Uh, check it out, this Article 13. It's an absolute shit show. Um, it's stupid. The It basically stops everything. It stops absolutely everything. And I can't understand it because at the end of the day, when people are showing videos on a car, for example, you know, Ford, Nissan, whatever it is, they're, they're promoting a product. They're showing people the car. You know, people, if they see a Ford car getting repaired, they just think Ford and they head, oh, I might go out and buy one. You know, that's, that's, how it, that's how advertisement works. There's going to be no advertisement. There's going to be no nothing because everyone's going to be afraid of getting fines. And yeah, look, I don't know. We just have to wait and see. But I'm not going anywhere, people. So yes, check it out if you want to know what it's all about. I don't really fully understand it. I've watched a few videos. I've done a few bit of readings, but it's just it's it's huge. It's 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 just huge. So it's you really need to spend hours and hours to absolutely checking it out to find out exactly what's going on. But for us in Europe, it could be really bad like really bad if it really is enforced properly it's the death of everything it's just as simple as that it's the death of everything so that's it so like i said not going anywhere i much appreciate all your support it was absolutely overwhelming i really really appreciate it. i'm going to get back to answering all the other comments i haven't and uh, look we'll see you for the next one don't forget get your hands dirty sorted